back, sir. Thank you, Dr. Suresh Kumar. Can you start with that book, uh, second slide, please? Yes. So, uh, Bowen said uh, uh, triangle is not good. Even in a couple really counseling, uh, husband and wife, they are fighting. The counselor is there and they will take the counselor into a triangle. The wife will ask, is it not true what I am saying? As a counselor, if you say, yes, finished, you are. Uh, the husband will look at you, what is happening here? So in that way, triangle is a very tricky one in uh, uh, therapy in ordinary situations, so Bowen would not encourage triangle. But Bowen does agree that triangle helps for a short time uh, to ease the situation. It's like a pressure cooker. It will release the pressure and it ease the situation. Now, in the COVID situation, it has brought us together. Now we can think of some positive triangles. Positive triangle. Can we go to the next slide, please? We can think of some positive triangle that will help us. Now, there is no other go. We have to face our uh, uh, bloody husband, uh, beautiful wife, and we have to live with them. Mother-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. You are so unlucky if you get a guest whom you don't like. They came and lockdown was announced and they are not unable to go. They are not able to go and they are with you. You have to smile at them every day. It is it's pretty hard. So this is no breathing space. Now, the more you see each other, you have to come closer, there's a, there's a conflict. So one of the things we can propose, it is a very coping, good coping mechanism, is creating a positive triangle. Not only in COVID situation, in any other situations, we can make use of this positive triangle as a coping mechanism or a coping techniques. For example, you and your wife, uh, you, you are physically in the intimate zone, but psychologically not at an intimate zone or you want to grow in psychological intimate zone, one of the things that you can do is speak about your childhood. So for example, you can speak about what you did when you're a chill child, when you're, um, what are things, so actually pure, speaking about childhood benefits in two ways. One thing, it uh, uh, unravels some of your past experiences and actually they are very happy ones. There could be sad ones as well, but when you speak about it, it relieves that sad ones as well. And if the partner comes to know about your childhood, there's a higher possibility of understanding. There's a higher possibility of understanding. For example, you are saying that when I was growing up, uh, many people used to compare me and I used to hate it. Your wife will become smart now, henceforth, not to compare you with the uh, other uh, colleagues. She knows because that you don't like. So, so you are communicating something. You are fighting and telling, don't compare me with others. But it is a very beautiful way of telling what you need. And uh, more understanding could happen when you speak about your childhood. This is one of the, when you are married, uh, in, maybe in the initial you might have spoken about it, but it's a nice time that as a couple, you can speak about it. And it's better if there are children, you can involve them, let them know about your childhood so that they will know that you are trying to get uh, 45 marks in English and mathematics. Now you are asking them to get uh, 9900 then they will know dad wait so it's, it's a very beautiful way that uh, you can interact with your kids now the second thing that you can do as a positive triangle make a <clears throat> you can sit together and make a list of things you like you don't like it's very interesting uh, we must know the likes and dislikes of people uh, for example if you know what is the food that your husband like your wife likes it's better always to do things there are some things uh, we assume and because of which we get into trouble in relationship. Now, uh, we used to have this uh, in the training program for couple. We used to ask uh, husbands to go out and we ask wife, wives, uh, what do your husband likes as a food, color, your actor or actress or music. Uh, we ask the husband to come in and we ask them. Most of the time, 70% of the answers are wrongs are wrong. Because the wife says, my husband likes uh, brown color. He comes and says, I like white color. And her wife says, what? You like brown color? Because most of your things are brown. He says, you, actually, you know, my father used to like brown. So all the time he used to buy brown because of which all my dress is brown. But actually, I hate brown. So wife, without knowing that she may buy a beautiful brown uh, shirt for him, and he will be very unhappy. He'll be very unhappy. So 
for example the wife thinks that the husband likes uh, non veg it happens once uh, i asked the wife and the wife said um, my husband likes non vegetarian very much we asked the husband what do you like she said he said i like vegetarian she said wait what and the, the husband said yes I, i used to like non vegetarian 5 years ago i went to the doctor and the doctor said better to go for vegetarian for your health as you are growing old so i started to eat vegetarian now i like more vegetarian maybe the wife was right the husband liked the vegetarian non vegetarian but after 5 years the change he has occurred the developed the wife is not aware uh, some of the women may ask why you are always asking women not the men because if you ask the women 30% answer will be right if you ask the men 100% answer will be wrong because women are more sensitive than men uh, women are more sensitive to understand the likes and dislikes of people the point that i want to make here is uh, most of the time we are not aware of their likes and dislikes in terms of food color the actor actress music leave again uh, these uh, simple things sometimes uh, people don't like when you get up in the morning and you talk loudly some people don't like it some people don't like when you are hungry to discuss things some people don't like when others are there to put you put them down these are the likes and dislikes that is beyond the things the material things so we have to start with what i like i don't like in the material level the second thing is that what i don't like I नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम back hello are we back yes sir thank you so we we have to make likes and so this is a beautiful time you can sit to if your family or can make likes and dislikes and uh, now you can afterwards you can go to a deeper level of what is your likes or dreams hopes plans actually it's a pity that uh, a family is like um, a bullock cart where there are two bullock, there are two bullocks if one bullock is going on the right and the other bullock is going on the left to finish there's no journey at all both husband and wife must learn to go forward in same direction for example the wife wants to get settled in canada the husband wants to get settled in chennai finished the husband is trying to buy a plot or buy a apartment the wife is trying to write to tofel is your life is a miserable thing somewhere you agree Sometimes uh, in uh, bringing the children also there is a problem. Husband goes in the right direction, the wife goes in the right direction. You have some kind of dream, some kind of agreement, some kind of plan, and it sometimes is very interesting. We ask husband and wife, what will make your wife, what will make your husband happy? They do not know, and we ask the husband themselves, the wife themselves. They do not themselves do not know what. it will make them happy if they themselves do not know what will make them happy how can they expect others to make them happy it's a very uh, complicated but it's a very simple process if only you know 5 years from now 10 years from now what you want your family to be you can also do this with your kids for example you got a plan or a dream for your son for your daughter they got their own dream their own plan and if you don't understand their own dream their own plan then what is the use and you go on working in one direction they go on working in another direction so this positive triangles are beautiful things you are not going to talk about yourself you are going to talk about what you like what you don't like nobody can find fault with that now as i am speaking some of you say uh better not to speak because when you are speaking only there's a lot of problem in your family so better not to speak if you are doing that um, probably you are going to uh, avoid the problem for today but you are going to enter into suffocation tomorrow somewhere we have to start this is the safest way to start now i am only saying please start to speak i don't decide now next slide please if only you are going to uh, decide it is going to be a problem which hero is the best then there's a problem 
who's hero who is your hero that's no problem which is the political party you whom you like no problem which is the political is important good for the country that's a problem i just speak now what happens in this speaking there are two benefits happen we start to converse because husband and wife never sometimes sit together and talk qualitatively they talk about uh, finance they talk about uh, tomorrow food and but they don't talk about their likes and dislikes their dreams and hopes they are children don't talk about their dreams and hopes children do not know about the dreams and hopes of the parents it's very important so the very talking process itself will help us to listen to each other so this is a very beautiful technique of bowen that we can use covid 19 has brought us physically in the intimate zone to grow into psychological intimate zone we can use this positive triangles you can also use some other triangles that it is uh, something third person you can speak about you both of you don't like somebody you speak about the person it's a, it's a gossip but in a way it will bring you together afterwards you speak about positive things you speak about positive things this is the first one here i end the last one is listening now the second technique is about that can you go to the next slide so how to make our uh, uh, physical no 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 please uh, yes how to make this physical uh, closeness of intimate so no no the previous slide please yes uh, um how to make this uh, physical closeness into psychological closeness. one is a uh, bowen's uh, triangle creating positive triangle second one virginia satir model virginia satir is also famous uh, uh, family therapist she speaks about a human validation process she speaks of huge things so she is also a very interesting person if you are working with groups and uh, families uh, interpersonal works i like this one human validation methodology of uh, virginia satir she says we need four hugs for a day for survival we need eight hugs a day for maintenance we need 12 hugs a day for growth now the hugs need not be a physical hugging the hugs could be also psychological i say a good word about you i appreciate you i help you i am sensitive to you this could be also hugs she says hugs are a validation is very important for relationships to survive now that you your family your husband your wife are together your children are together now we need some kind of validation to happen and for this validation to happen one of the best technique uh, some of you who are uh, working through uh, carl roger methodology or um, client centered approach you will understand how validation is very very important what is validation and how validation can be i am just using validation in a simple terminology of uh, listening can you go to the next slide please can we kind of just listen to people because human beings want to be heard they want to be validated what is validated just to acknowledge yes i just understand what you are feeling maybe you are going through this so uh, can we go to the next slide i one one family came to me for counseling one family family came to me for counseling and they are from australia and they are actually indians the daughter is 21 year old and she hates the parents she hates the parents and um, the parents love her but she doesn't always a conflict they come and the parents are telling how much we love this uh, uh, one child the girl child and she hates us and the girl child says i don't like them because they don't love me the father said i just will tell you one incident how we love them uh, love her and she how she doesn't understand she was studying in a hostel 700 kilometers from our hometown and we know that she likes a home food like indian food so what we do every sunday is the only holiday we have Three o'clock we get up we cook for one hour one and a half hours five o'clock we take the car we drive 700 kilometers we can drive 120 kilometers so by one o'clock we reach over there so we give her so uh, hot food in the hot case we spend one hour time with her we start back in uh, three o'clock so that we reach at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock and we are going to work next day and so much we loved her we did all the weekend sacrificing our own time and she says uh, we don't love her the girl responded you came because you love me you came because you wanted to spy over me what i am doing on weekend and now 
I, I felt like uh, so upset because this girl is misunderstanding. But as a counselor, uh, as, a, as a human being, I said, uh, I feel like slapping her. But as a counselor, I said, okay, Preeti, I really hear what you say. It was so uncomfortable for you that you are parenting day after week after week uh, to give food, which you, you are feeling like suffocating. The girl said, for the first time, an Indian counselor understands me, she said. For the first time, an Indian counselor understands me. Now, I don't agree with what she said, but I wanted to acknowledge that I heard her. She has got the right to have that feeling. Whether it is right or wrong, that is another thing. Now, most of the time, this is the thing that we must... Uh, there is a difference between hearing and listening. We hear people, we hear people, but do we listen to people? I'll give you one example. One couple came to me for counseling. They were fighting uh, dog and uh, cat and uh, what to say, uh, dog and cat fighting, come accusing each other, accusing each other, accusing each other. Then I said, just, just stop, stop, stop. Okay, we will see. I asked the husband, can you just repeat what your wife says, like a parrot, exactly the same word. Okay, so she said. Then the husband said, I asked what, what she said. Yeah, she said, I am not coming home. Why I am not coming home? I said, no, no, don't say why you are not coming home. Can you just say what your wife said? Now, the wife said, he's not coming home. He's not a good husband. Fifth sentence, she said, however, he's a good man, she said. Fifth sentence, she said that. But this guy did not hear this because in the third sentence, he started to prepare answers in his mind. So most of the time, we hear people, but we don't listen to them. Next slide, please. This is a very beautiful example from my life. Uh, next one, uh, yeah, next one, next one, yes, yes. Uh, no, no, the previous slide, please. Um, uh, when we were young students in Pune, we went to see Rajanish place, uh, you know, Osho. Rajanish had, uh, has his uh, central uh, uh, ashram in uh, Pune. At the time he died one year ago, uh, Rajanish was a very controversial um, uh, guru. Uh, America was so afraid of him. He had so many roles for Aikai. The whole America was mad after him. And sometimes they say Americans who killed him, so, oh, leave that one. There is a lot of mystery around him. He's called sex uh, priest. Uh, he uses sex, all these things people used to say. Now we went as a young uh, students to Rajanish place and we were asking so many questions. The head priest uh, uh, guru was uh, taking us, we were 40 of us. He was answering beautifully our questions. Once we asked one question and he stopped and he looked at and said, young men, I am happy that you are asking so many questions, but I also request you to listen to my answer. If you had listened to my answer, you would not have asked this question because two questions before I answered this question. This very question is indicating that you are not listening to my answers. Most of the time we raise questions, but we are not answering because we are preparing another question in our mind. So there is a difference between hearing and listening. Listening is an art. One of the things that if you could do during this lockdown, is to listen. Listen means completely pay attention to what the husband is speaking, what the wife is speaking is 300% is stupid. No problem. Listen. To whom they can speak? Only to you they can speak. So Virginia Satya speaks uh, what is something called human validation. Most of the time, we kind of judge. We kind of prepare answers. We kind of prepare a certain kind of uh, judgment and say this is wrong. We don't listen to people. He says, she says, one of the beautiful way, you just completely listen and validate. I don't agree with you, but you've got a right, you've got a right to feel. So Suresh Kumar, if your wife is upset with your mother, and you are automatically, your tendency is to defend your mother. Poor son, you are. But next time, um, you don't need to defend. Your wife has got a right to feel. Whether it is right or wrong, that is another thing. I hear what you are saying. So at least if you listen to her, her need to press that conversation will be, if you cut her, she is going to speak to you louder. So I'm just joking. Your wife is a very good person and your mother is a very good person. I do not want to go there. So the next slide uh, is, the next slide is, uh, so listening is hard, particularly, yeah, stop, particularly when you are upset particularly when you have got the internal noises. What is internal noise? Is uh, You are upset with another person, you are angry with a person, uh, previous experience, the next tab, only one tab, one tab, please. 
one tap suresh kumar one i guess if you got prejudice sometimes uh, people will say oh my husband is very nice to me today he wants something oh today wife seems to be very very pleasant she has got some plan so this is called prejudice if you have got prejudice you can listen to people actually uh, listening is if you want just ask your wife to speak try to repeat parrot her if you are a couple therapist you don't need to solve their problem because some problems cannot be solved teach them to parrot to what the other person speaks they will stop fighting because the human validation process starts so the next slide please so validation is listening is an uh, so it is in the previous one so i always say to husband and wife i always to children i always to parents uh, to whom they can share only to you they can share so if they are angry with you let them say that that is totally unjustifiable that is totally wrong that they should not get angry because your intention but let them say let them say just because they are saying you are donkey you are not going to become donkey you know we are monkey i know i am monkey but just by saying you are donkey you are not going to become donkey. so that that coolness you have and just listen to the person if you listen you are going to validate and the moment you validate the other person is going to feel close to you other person is going to feel uh, that you are capable of uh, understanding um uh, yes um so uh, now lockdown and uh, the next slide please lockdown physically has brought us like this whether you like it or not you cannot go out there is a physical intimate zone is there now we can make this uh, intimate zone physical zone into psychological zone if you start to validate the person validation not only during lockdown throughout the time you can do it when your wife says you know how hard i worked don't make a comment uh, don't think that i so hard do or don't make a comment understand so, next slide let next slide please next slide please yes so that has brought the physical intimate zone can it make it psychologically into an intimate zone we can make it possible how for the first step create positive triangles the second step um, create um, a process of validating the another person i am sure that um, you are locked down it would be a beautiful moment of this i am not speaking primarily for couple i am speaking for families as such uh, children as such so you can create this uh, validation process son says uh, i don't like you just to sit listen to him say please tell me why you don't like me don't start a mahabharata ramayana purana what are the things i did for you i did this to you i did that why are you doing all these things don't start that ramayana mahabharata so purana so just listen just tell me why you don't like me so validation is very important process next one please um so create positive triangles create this process of listening i am sure the covid 19 uh, uh, will make you into a positive triangle so the next slide so i i stop just stop for the last slide uh, in case the email id is there our website is there um, this is our website of the counseling institute and there's a website also the college you can reach us now dr suresh kumar uh, over to you doctor So thank you for for amazing presentation. I think even uh, there are many points which is uh, close to me, and uh, uh, I can connect with me. Uh, thank you for that, uh, dear participant. If you have any questions to the expo, you can unmute your mic one by one, and you can ask. Uh, sir, this is Padmesh K C from Hosur, uh, Tamil Nadu. Okay. Uh, you gave a different perspective to the entire topic. A totally different perspective. and okay. it was really amazing uh, thanks very much for the wonderful session sir thank you very much for the organizers for a, such a beautiful session organizing in a, such a lockdown period when everybody is in stressful situation so thank you so much really appreciate your uh, service thank you sir thank you so much thank you special thanks to you father for the beautiful insights yeah thank you um 
One case one has asked um, about uh, um, hugs will work out in Indian context. Um, every culture has got appropriate hugs. So don't hug a counselee or a stranger, a beautiful girl that you see for the first time. But uh, you can hug your head. In Tamil, there is. So you can. Hello. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Please continue, sir. Hello, you. Um, so um, in Tamil movie, there's something called Katipudi Vaithyam. So the point is, uh, hugs are very appropriate. Uh, uh, when it is healthy, it is a very beautiful sign. But I said not physical hug alone. There could be psychological hug, uh, sensitivity, appreciation, gratitude, uh, acknowledgement. These are uh, beautiful psychological hugs we can offer to people. Any other question, please? Uh, Father, it was a wonderful uh, presentation on uh, family and uh, system approach. I really enjoyed it. And uh, uh, fantastically, you have connected with this COVID also. That was a very insightful one. And I would like to ask you a question. Uh, yes. In uh, in uh, a family, I can understand that uh, uh, you know intimate zone people should not uh, enter, and we should uh, guard it, and we should also maintain this uh, you know zones or four zones. Yeah. And I could say that some of the system, like uh, joint family system, or uh, uh, if you look into the traditional system, the power roles, you know, the power roles plays a major role. And yes. uh, though you are in uh, intimate uh, uh, zone. But yeah. the uh, the other role is in interfering in these zones really create an uh, yeah. disharmony, I should say. Yes. Uh, yeah. How to uh, build uh, or how to bridge this gap? Um, I always use this image for relationship. Relationship is a dance. Mm -hmm. Now, dance is always a front movement, back movement, side movement. Now, you are absolutely right. And I fully agree with you in terms of the power struggle that happens in the intimate zone. So... Now you need to have a dance, move forward, backward, one step push, if they are rejecting one step backward, one step. So if you navigate things, you can change the power. Usually between husband and wife also the power struggle will be there. Between children and parents also the power struggle will be there. So please learn to give in a little bit and push a little bit. And this, there's a beautiful image of arrow and the bow. Um, see, the arrow and the bow, they work when one is bending more, one is uh, stretching more. When one is stretching more, one is bending more. Then only the arrow is working. Husband and wife are used this uh, image of a uh, bow and arrow. So it's a, it's a, um, a plan of giving and taking, uh, pushing and withdrawing. So this dance, if we could do, we can realign the power. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree with this point of being very flexible when it comes and... Uh, also able to you know uh, nullify the effect or balance the effect but i have another question regarding this nowadays there are a lot of counselors insist on your self uh, rights are very important your god your guarding your relationship without compromising your rights is very important in families also i could see that a lot of people negotiate and you know come with uh, a lot of assertive skills to manage uh, even uh, even they are ready to fight for their rights with the cost of other you know, people. So there are a lot of uh, things in Western uh, thoughts are getting inside. Exactly. Uh, uh, you know, when you come to the values of family with our traditional things, are little, konjom, uh, adjust with the uh, flow. And yeah. it is fine if you are with whom we are actually adjusting, your own husband, your own family members, and it is okay. And also people say that even uh, personality is So we have to really adjust with that personality because they are like this. We yeah. cannot change them like that. But if yeah. you see that a lot of Western philosophy, uh, I, I'm sorry to say this, uh, yeah. we are following most of the Western uh, psychology uh, frameworks only. I could see that a lot of uh, uh, you know, individualistic approach in that. Yeah, you are absolutely right, ma'am. And I just want to add, I agree with you and I underscore your point. So the very definition of assertiveness is it is in between aggression and in between uh, suppression. So the very definition of assertiveness is neither suppression, neither aggression. So if somebody is training your assertiveness to be aggressive, then it is not assertiveness at all. And secondly, um, one's rights has to be uh, spoken up in the context of their culture. 
if you are doing a counseling to a western couple you have to speak about assertiveness in a different level if you are speaking about uh, assertiveness to an indian couple you have to speak about so cultural sensitivity is one of the most important thing so this is uh, um then in an in a way i just want to add another point and adjustability is not just a quality it is a uh, it is a virtue adjustability is so so is an evolutionary technique which are able to creatively adjust will thrive in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, evolution so adjustability is not a weakness adjustability is a virtue it is a, um, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a balance technique where to strike the balance thank you thank you so much for the yeah. hello yes hello sir this is nalini hello sir this is nalini i hear you uh, so i have uh, two questions yes. one is uh, there is a situation now this lockdown uh, uh, where psychologically we are close but intimate and now physically they are away because you know maybe within the stay uh, in within the nation or outside the nation uh they are uh, physically now they are in the public zone one and how to optimize the relationship one second one is uh, second question is uh, the middle aged uh, um, you know couple where the old aged parents they are they live in far far place but you know they are constantly worried about them because of the lockdown we are not able to reach them how to optimize uh, this is my question sir first one it is a very sad it would have been beautiful if that uh, person who is psychologically close is with you if the person is far it is a, a givenness we need to first accept it we cannot fret over it secondly that you can you will have always you will reach out to them you have got more time now and thanks be to all the uh, <coughs> media that we have social media that we can connect to people and in fact you can uh, you can increase the longing for the other during this time actually it will abhor and so in a way you have to accept that this has happened and okay. you can be close to each other the in the okay. same level also you asked a second question about the worry so we have to assure um, our parents that um, uh, this is no other go and we are safe maybe a regular video call or a, a regular talk with them will uh, help it and that is the way it will optimize and now you can also grow in gratitude because now you know what it means to have them so next time when okay. you have them you will really feel really close yeah yeah so suresh sir are we running out of the time we are having 60 minutes uh, sir i had a question uh, similar to her a person uh, from the intimate zone has moved to the public zone physically okay. available psychologically totally disconnected yeah in in covid also yeah uh, could you please uh, give me some insight on this yeah you rightly said they are psychologically away so that means something is disturbing them so we have to initiate some forms of conversation mm -hmm. and one way is to start with uh, i am feeling this way would mm -hmm. you like to uh, speak or did i do anything wrong or mm. anything upsetting you in that way we start to initiate a validation so you are validating <coughs> you seem to have an upset feel sir it is not audible yes for me also i think this is all of the connection sir are you there we have to accept the limitations of this technology also yes okay hopefully i will uh, get an answer from father definitely ma'am then you join us so we taking some problem from this side you told me before joining that uh, there is a heavy rain at, uh, yeah yeah i know yeah friends meanwhile you know you can send the questions to okay. the mail id which i had given okay you can go ahead is it in rain there yes yes sir please so um i was just telling please speak to them that's the best way to did i answer your question ma'am yeah uh, partially sir still uh, i need some more inputs 
hopefully i may mail you okay ma'am okay ma'am thank you thank you very much sir thank you thank you ma'am any other question uh, father you have given an example yes go ahead anita yeah yeah so uh, Lawrence, this is Anita from uh, Bangalore. Uh, it is lovely to listen to your session after a long. Good to see you, Anita. After a long time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So you were mentioning about that uh, Bowen's positive triangle, sir. Uh, Lawrence. So, and you was also saying have a positive triangle where we can have some other element to enhance the relationship, and also the slide portraying where uh, we are all connected with technology even in our bedrooms. But uh, my question is might be a little um, <laughs> complicated. Can the technology be uh, the third one in the uh, enhancing the positive relationships among couples during this lockdown? Because every now and we are all virtually connected. Yeah, that's yeah, what it's good it is good if provided it becomes uh, the picture that i showed uh, husband and wife is there they are connected to another uh, person so it is dividing if husband and wife are connected through cell phone then it is beautiful so uh, the social media could be a beautiful positive triangle provided with the right people hello thank you thank you mama Hello. Yes. Uh, so this is Nalini. Actually, uh, I just wanted to mention a point. Like you know, I had a, a client, you know, who was saying like who couldn't talk to the parents because of his lockdown, but yeah. uh, the interest or not matching and all this. So I suggested like you know, if we are not speaking together, we can do something together, doing together. Like for example, watching movies, exactly. which you know everyone like, but we need not talk. to each other or something yeah. else doing together yeah. uh, i think it worked the like <laughs> so i wanted to share it with you in this way thank you thank you thank you thank you thank any other questions uh father lawrence you gave an example of the bow and arrow yeah uh, the line was not clear at that point of time could you repeat that example please uh, see the bow and arrow is used as a image between the husband and wife where to bend where to uh, assert uh, there was that was in response to a person who spoke about assertiveness uh, and how to do that and there was a power struggle now uh, sometimes wife has to give up sometimes husband has to give up Th this process must go on if all the time wife is giving up it is going to break if all the time husband is giving up it is going to break so a relationship will become better only if there is a process of dance what is dance one step forward one step backward one step sideward this is called dance if you are walking it is walking walking if you are walking behind it is walking behind it is not a dance so husband and wife must learn must see this image of if only we both of us bend and stretch things will work out so that's a image for husband and wife given in really any relationship it could be even in friendship uh, all the time i spend when you come out with me it's not going to work uh, one day i have spend one day you spend then only it will work yes sir thank you right yes uh, we have uh, friends uh, it is a time to record our gratitude to the resource person here and uh, he is the one of the most sought resource person for the technology and uh, topics and when i hear that his name from uh, mr krishnan and when i resonated the information i got many application for his session even there are many of them are not to join yeah, we had a technical problem in the beginning uh, thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation and giving uh, right information and it is a more scientific definitely we use it then we we'll might again for another session thank you so much dear participant thank you so much for joining us we we'll meet in another session thank you so much. Thank you, Thank Dr. Krishna. You. Uh, Thank, uh, you, Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was very insightful uh, Thank perspective. You, Thank, you. Thank you so much, uh, the Father. It was fantastic session. Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you for the.